All right, um, in the previous videos, first we looked at autarky. Then we went to what if we have trade and we showed there's a gain to trade from importing um, that goes to the consumers. And we also looked about more about trade and what if the world price is um, what if the world price is above our domestic price, there can also be a gain for exporting, right? We looked at both of those importing and exporting. Now the question is, what if uh, people want to restrict trade? And we'll do, I'll do more of discussion of this in the, in the course. It'll be in the learning unit. There'll be a little more discussion. I'm gonna include an outside video about some other reasons you might wanna restrict trade. Um, also, there'll be a reading about this, uh, but, in terms of restricting trade, one of the arguments for restricting trade, so restricting imports specifically, is about costing jobs. So let's go back up here and remind ourselves. So we see that our domestic production, uh, let me see if I can find a nice color that will show up. Sure, this should show up. Our domestic production, originally they were producing this much, and then they got cut back to this much. So these right here uh, didn't produce. And so those would have looked like probably some businesses uh, being shut down, probably some people losing their jobs in this industry. Um, so it would have uh, it would have hurt people, it would have hurt uh, companies, it would have hurt workers. Um, and so that one of the big arguments for restricting imports is to protect jobs, right? So to protect jobs, and that's one of the arguments. Now, overall, um, for the most part, but with some exceptions, uh, a lot of economists would would probably say that. They, those jobs might be very expensive to, especially if it's something we're not very efficient at producing. It might be very expensive to protect the jobs, uh, meaning it might cost a lot more in terms of loss of economic surplus to protect those jobs um, than would be worth it, given maybe the pay and the um, the situation for those jobs, especially if there's job growth in other sectors that workers could move to. Um, but let's suppose we decide to restrict this. Okay, so we want to look at what are the economic costs of that. Um, so there's two main ways we could restrict trade. Okay, so again, we're I'm talking restricting imports right now. Uh, we'll talk uh, briefly about exports later. Uh, so if we want to restrict imports, um, there's two main ways. Okay, so the two main ways we can restrict imports is one is a tariff, and this is uh, this is a tax only uh, only on imported goods. Okay, so rather than taxing all goods in this category, this tax only goes on the imported goods. So the domestically produced goods are not subject to this tax. That's called a tariff, or we could have a quota. These are the, the most common. Um, we have a quota, and this is a numerical limit. Uh, so for example, they might say, well, you can only import uh, I have no idea exactly how many tires are imported in a year or how big this market is. So I don't know what a number, I can't give you a number that will be realistic. But let's say they say we can only import uh, 1 million tires this year. Okay. And so then after 1 million, no tires can be brought in. Right. So that's an alternative way to restrict imports. Uh, there's actually a third one, and that's a voluntary export restraint where a, a con country agrees to not export more than a certain amount. And, and we'll see that kind of um, ends up being similar, although the, the, the exact benefit, economic benefits uh, change hands a little bit when we do that one. Uh, okay, so here is our, um, here's our situation. And we have our graph right here. This is our, our, our graph we started with. Um, oops, so, okay, now, and our world price, and we have our world price was, I believe it was here. Okay. So this is our world price. And then uh, from there, we're gonna say, okay, uh, let's restrict them. So uh, we're, in this case, we're gonna use a tariff. Okay, so let's go ahead and use a tariff for this one. Okay, and we'll just call our tariff will be, and let's make it a unit tariff. So like per unit, there's a certain amount of charge, okay? And so if we didn't have the tariff, we would have ended up here. Uh, let me use this. We would have ended up with this quantity supply. And, oh, sorry, this quantity demanded. Sorry, I got that wrong. This quantity demanded and this quantity supply. Okay, because the world price is low, people are gonna buy a lot of it. And so that would be, uh, that's what we would have had. Let's call it with uh, free trade. I'll just put an F. Okay, that's what we had free trade. Uh, but we're going to use this tariff to restrict the trade. Maybe we don't want to get rid of trade altogether. 
um, but for for a variety of reasons, probably one of being uh, that there's a lot of complaints coming from the tire manufacturers. Um, we're going to want to restrict this trade in some way. Okay, so we're going to restrict it, and we do that by raising the price. So this is going to be the world price plus the tariff. Okay, so this is PW plus tariff. Okay, we restrict that trade now. And so by restricting the trade, um, we are going to we're going to reduce how much people want to buy of it. Okay, we're going to reduce. So now the consumers will only want to buy this. So people will, for example, they might not buy uh, as high end of tires as they would have before when they were cheaper. Uh, they might drive their old tires for an extra couple thousand miles before they decide to change them. You know, they will, they will cut back in some way. Right? They'll come back in some way because tires are going to be more expensive. Okay, so that's the idea. And this was with the tariff. I hope you can, I probably should not have used an F and a T, but oh well. Um, and the domestic producers are pretty happy because now they can get higher price for their product, right? And so they are going to make more tires. They still don't make as much as before. Uh, we could have made the tariff larger um, to, to cut off all trade. I know you could have made it uh, so that that it's just not sellable. Like you can't buy a tire on the world market and sell it locally because it'll just be too expensive. Uh, but let's say we just wanted to restrict it somewhat. Uh, so what happens here? So that this is the basic idea. And so um, the big the big thing, uh, and I'll come back and make a second video in a second to to show the the what happens to the surplus, just so this one doesn't get too long. Uh, but the first thing we can see, well, if we do that, we raise the price. And that cuts down on the amount that people are going to buy, but it raises the amount that people are going to, that we're going to produce domestically, right? So we get a, we get a reduction in our quantity demanded, but we get an increase in our quantity supplied domestically. Okay, and so that's the big effect of it. Um, so the big thing we've done here, and again I'll come back to this in a second. The big thing we've done here is we produce these domestically. Those got produced domestically, and but these ones got lost. We didn't consume them. Nobody consumed them. All right, so I'm gonna stop here and I'll make a second video where I come back and look at how the surplus falls in this one.